I can see Garrett's in for some straw. Let's take a walk down and see what they're doing down there. I hope everyone had a wonderful Christmas. I certainly did. I certainly had a nice time. Um, if you did, what did you get up to? Do you get anything nice? Comment below. I've spotted a lorry in the yard. So I'm gonna go have a look who it is, what it is and where it's going. So this lorry is for our straw. So we're a big hay and straw enterprise, if you don't know. And we sell quite a lot of our straw to Wales. So we've got one of our lorries here and I'm gonna go see who it is and I'll show you um, where they end up. So if it is who I think it is, it goes to Wales and it goes towards animal bedding. So starts here all the way to Wales and goes all the way around again. Got the old Zeta looking a bit sad this morning. <laughs> it does work, it does work. It might not look like it doesn't, but it does work. <coughs> Just about, I'd say. Right, so there's a the Weybridge there. So when we bring a lorry in, they always go on the Weybridge, so they tear off. So we get their weight without any bales on. And when they are full up, we'll put them back on the lorry again. So our Weybridge actually connects to our office over there. So we don't have to stand here, we don't have to have someone waiting. It goes straight over to the office so we can weigh it from over there, which is handy. So we sell the bales by weight rather than by the bale. So this is why we weigh them in and out. It's also a really good idea for the lorry drivers to weigh themselves because if they're overweight, then it's illegal. So it's mainly for them as well. As you can see, it's waiting down there. They're obviously having a chat. <laughs> Classic farmers, can't stop chatting. <laughs> the funny thing is, if you can see they're both sat in their cabs chatting as far as way as possible, they haven't got out their cabs. It's almost like they've both got corona. <laughs> they don't, but it's quite funny, isn't it? That they're about 10 metres apart, <laughs> chatting out the window. So again, I think it's about time for an Ellie's Welly. We've got two on the list again today. One happy one, but one also not so happy. So we've got Get Well Soon Mike Willis, who's in Royal Barks Hospital over Christmas. So hope you get well soon and recover very well. And also happy birthday, Hamish and Finlay from Digcop. Happy 18th to the twins. So happy 18th and get well soon, Mike. Here's the first lot going on. Dan's doing it this morning. So Garen is taking barley, uh, sorry not barley, oats straw. Oh. That's a linseed bale Dan's taking off right now. We just put them on top just to keep them dry, really, the bales dry. So, plonk in the linseed bale there. So we put one on the bottom and one on the top. As you can see, they're just different colours. They're a bit rubbishy bales. You don't really want them for much. So they're just good for keeping things dry and putting things on so their bottoms don't get dry too. So there goes Dan getting the top one up. JCB, so he's boomed all the way out. Grabbed it. So it's going to be a bit awkward because ah, that bale's a bit sticky. It's going to, it's going to break. Let's see what he can do. So it's going to be a bit awkward because um, the three and three, and obviously, as you can see there, we've got four, four on the lorry. So we want. So we're gonna have to like make them up basically, that's what I'm trying to say. There we go, that's how he's managed to get it down. Bad bales, going there. See if you actually look underneath it. It's clean, dry, and perfect to use. So this oat straw is going for bedding on the lorry. 
so through Garrett Morris we've got some dirty ones but it's only for bedding so it's okay once it's chopped up in a straw chopper um, it'll be absolutely fine so it's good good feed value as well if you wanted to feed the oat straw I mean I'm not a cow farmer but it's good for bedding so it's going on the lorry this lorry is quite easy because it can carry a set a, a higher weight weight restriction so we just do 444. Four, four. The reason he's packed like this is so we can push them up from the back end, which you'll see in a minute. Um, so we can push it all up. So this lorry's easier. So it's got the, the trailer, uh, the, the bulk of the lorry, and that bit's the trailer at the back. Oh, there goes Garen, just chucking his strap over. So as you say, push them up from the back. So he's just scraping them up, pushing them up. So we do it this way so we can get we can actually get more on. So if you put two and two, uh, not more on, but when this trailer swings round, it won't hit it. Those okay, so all pushing up. Here he comes, we're just starting to fill up the trailer now. Is he going to be square? Just stand back a bit so you can see. There we go. Perfect. He's not looking. <laughs> he always sticks his tongue out when he, when he, um, um, no, sorry. I think it's the concentration. So we're all loaded up. We got the back two, the trailer is full, and the lorry. We're just strapping it down. Well, Garrett's strapping it down. Um, also, hi to Ella, Ella Morris, yeah, Garrett's daughter. I hear you watch my YouTubes. Um, I've just seen your TikToks too. Your dad's been telling me all about it. So yeah, we're all loaded up, and he's ready to go. We just need to weigh out. No, we're not all ready to go. We've still got to get one on the top of the roof of the lorry. My fault, my bad. I think Dan's just coming with an extra bell now. And then like, all these hard trailers all lined up, ready for harvest. Harvest will soon come around. It's already been Christmas, so I do look forward to a good harvest considering I miss one this year. No, no last? Oh no, it is still this year. What am I about? It's not New Year yet. But yeah, so I do look forward to a good harvest next year. 2023, yeah, that's it. Um, ready to be chasing, racing around in all the tractors, but. I've had it before with a leg up. Yeah. And uh, I got leg So we got the top two on now. So he, now he is all ready to go. He's done, he me around. Right, he now needs to go on the way bridge, that's what it's called. Way out, and then off he goes, back to Wales. <laughs>